Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a keyboard from a brand that kind of just delivered keyboards that were kind of similar to everything else in the market. But today we're going to be taking a look at the Warmier G75 Copy Edition. It's an 82 key, 75% gasket mount with a knob with switches and soda ASA keycaps, though it is available as a bare bone as well. But it does have a little trick up its sleeve. Now, first things first, it has a very decent weight. It feels very nice in the hands, does not feel too light. And a big part of it is probably that huge silicone pad that it has below the PCB. Now, one thing that I might say, it does not have kick out feet, so you're gonna be stuck with the default typing angle. So when we look a little bit closer and take off one of the long keys, we find screw and stabilizers on a south facing PCB with a polycarbonate plate. Yes, this is an in-stock keyboard that has those three things all together. So um, that's quite interesting and nice to find, I might add. Uh, the stabilizers are, are lubricated and they sound and feel just nice. Um, between the plate and the PCB, we also have, it's a two-piece foam, which serves as both a switch pad as well as a PCB plate uh, foam. And it looks to be made out of a silicone rubber, if I'm not wrong. This keyboard is a translucent brown, and you turn on the RGB, and it actually looks really nice. Um, could be because I'm a child of the 70s, but uh, I do have a fondness for brown and oranges, although, when I do come back to this keyboard, I have a good idea of a style that I'm going to go with it. Very retro, kind of think Burger King in the 70s and 80s. I was very pleasantly surprised by the chocolate switches that they have in there. I've not heard of these before. They're a 40 gram linear switch that has a long pull and um, it sounds and feels quite nice. It's a little bit lighter than I personally like for the little bit of use that I did of it. It worked just fine for me. Granted, they are the ASA caps. And I work a little bit better with the old school style. Anyway, this keyboard has a hidden surprise. When I opened up the box to find what was in it, which includes the standard key cap, key switch puller, as well as a USB cable, I found a bag of gaskets and screws. Are these extra gaskets to make it more flexy or change the flexiness? But then I decided to actually take a look at the product page. I, I like to surprise myself sometimes and just kind of open up the keyboard with very little known about it, find out as I go. Well, this keyboard not only is a gasket mount, this keyboard also allows you to change out to a top mount. That means you can attach the plate to the top half of the case and you've got yourself a new mounting style. One that arguably creates a much more consistent sound profile going across all the rows. Just the specs. Today we have taken a look at the Warmier G75, a wired 75% 82 key pre-built from Warmier keyboards. It is a gasket mount keyboard with a knob and also preloaded with coffee pre-lubed linear switches and ASA PBT soda keycaps. This keyboard does not include feet so it has only one typing angle of six degrees while the chin sits at 21 millimeters and the back sits at 33 millimeters it does have south facing rgb with three and five pin hot swap compatibility and does come well dampened with both case and pcb plate foam this keyboard comes weighing in at 860 grams with an MSRP of $99.99, though it is currently on sale with a 15% off coupon. So for today's video, I'm only going to be doing the stock, but I will be coming back to this very soon to go ahead and do a top mount and show the difference between the two. And then I'm going to go ahead and mod it and switch some things out and make this my ultra retro kit this is going to be a lot of fun anyway i i personally am quite pleased 
with how the market has been changing. 2023 is looking much better for in-stock keyboards. We're getting a lot more options uh, like a PC plate, screw and stabilizers, different mounting options. I mean, one would argue you can now buy custom keyboards off the shelf. Anyway, today I did a stock sound test of this G75. Um, I personally, I thought it sounded pretty good. I would like a little bit more life. That's why I'm going to be coming back to it. But again, I'm going to, I want to show the differences between the two mounting styles. So I'm just going to change that out only and do a side-by-side -side sound test so that you can get the difference. But today it's just a stock sound test with this warmier G75 coffee edition. And, um, and I'd like to hear what you guys think about it. What do you guys think about the market? How in-stock keyboards are becoming better options? I'd like to know. Let me know in the comments below. Let's start a conversation. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.